If there was a product out there, a food that you could take that has been proven through the catastrophe and the grief and the anguish and death of those who were exposed to the Fukushima prelude known as Chernobyl, would you take it? Uh, I would urge the obvious. I think we should all be taking this. I'm going to order some tonight. Um, Roland, this is a, a, a food, a superfood. How could you live on this? Are you, you're not suggesting that this is so complete that that's all you need to take during the day. Obviously, that you need to take other nutritional supplements and food sources as well. But you, you, I'm getting the idea that you actually might be able to survive on this for a certain length of time. <laughs> not that that's what I'm recommending. There, there is no doubt that you could. Uh, we don't recommend that. Uh, whether you would be able to give up your wonderful addiction to normal food and social uh, aspect of eating, that, that's the challenge. But you could live on bio superfood forever, or I should say for a long life. Uh, that's even, extraordinary. I believe you. Before I, I oh, have an absolutely. idea. It is yeah, beyond, yeah. Yeah. When it's you mentioned complete, you even mentioned quercetin, which is something that very few people know about, and is recommended by Dr. Russell Blaylock, among others, uh, as uh, something that is indicated along with curcumin for uh, uh-huh. radioactivity remediation. But this food has yeah. everything in it. Start with uh, a year or, or plus ago, Dr. Kiriak and I were visiting one of our um, uh, clinic in Michigan near, and there's a, a nuclear facility there. Unbeknownst to us, uh, during our talk, uh, a fellow, a middle-aged man, 40 years old, uh, stood up uh, to share his experience. He worked at, at a nuclear facility and had been exposed and had been laid off for at least temporarily due to medical reason because of the exposure. And the doctor that were following him could not believe that he had cleared all di- all the verifiable presence of any radioactive uh, debris in his body in a matter of a few months. He had been, uh, unbeknownst to us, uh, via this clinic, taking 12 capsules per day. He stood up in the meeting and told us that story. Uh, I had myself not worked with uh, an immediate case like that in my 10 years of working with the product in America, though I have worked extensively with people from Ukraine or Moldova or Belarus, or Russia, mm-hmm. near the Chernobyl region, that have either, uh, you know, there are many people in New York and Florida that are Russian and California. Right. We, we get a lot of cases of people that are suffering from thyroid issues, um, or epilepsy sure. in children. Yeah. Many yeah. Yeah. results of the Chernobyl exposure of their parents, even, uh, and or, or of themselves when they uh-huh. were young. But... Uh, You know, if the bio superfood was used post Chernobyl with the most extreme victims that were basically sent out to die and and away from 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 the eyes, if you wish, and that's what Dr. Kirik had to work with. So they gave him the worst. They gave him the worst to the worst. 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 Okay. They were at the extreme: the eyes coming out, Mm -hmm. the liver. uh, pushing out of its mm-hmm. uh, of the of the That's, abdominal yeah. region from inflammation. Yeah. So anybody that would like to consider uh, having a shield, increasing constantly, increasing and maintaining your frequency. That's what it's about. The name of the game is cellular frequency and energy. And with energy, then uh, detoxification is consistent. You constantly detoxify and rebalance your lost coherence from the radiation and other pollution attack that we are subject to in America, be it cellular towers or the, the myriads of, of chemicals. And other, as, we, as you know, we have 65-plus uh, radiation uh, nuclear facility in the U.S. that somewhat are leaking to some great degree. I shouldn't say to great extent, but it's not new that we're exposed to radio. All so, right. this, this, uh, I, okay. I, I've been taking the product for myself for 10 years, uh-huh. and I, I, you know, my personal story to myself is, is just extraordinary uh-huh. uh, regarding, uh, you know, I'm 62 and I've been running marathon, no injuries, I have en- endless energy, 
uh, I have really reinvented my life since I met Dr. Kiriak, and wow. very much from the new energy that I've gained. And as a matter of fact, being a brain food, you get such um, uh, wellness in, in terms of focus and clarity. And, and of course, the tangible reasons for that are the presence of those quercetin, for example, lutein, and many other of these rare nutrients that have the ability to be anti-inflammatory in the brain. What, uh, what eventually leads to loss of the speed of the brain and eventually loss of memory and decay of the, in the brain is inflammation. We know that uh, that's being discussed in Alzheimer and other brain or mental disorder. And the way to resolve that is through increasing uh, brain energy uh, through, the, through nutrition because there's not really too many ways of getting to the brain because of the brain, the blood-brain barrier. Question. Uh, Question. Question, doctor. Question. Uh, yes, sir. There are a lot of people in this country who, because of diet and so forth, and stress and all the rest of it, have uh, cardiovascular circulatory problems. H how does this product address the heart and its wellness? That's a big story. Mm. Huh? Yeah, that, that's, a, that's a good one. Uh, let me base uh, first the, the, the answer on some extensive research that was conducted with 54,000 pigs, hog, on a, on a large farm in Russia, which are known to mimic human cardiovascular problems. So it's a very good test bed. And they, what they observed there was the cessation of imbalance in the fat metabolism, for example, cholesterol, in plaque due to uh, malabsorption of calcium or non-utilization of calcium, uh, or a continuously uh, renewed detoxification. Uh, so yes, what was observed was breakdown of plaque within six weeks of beginning to ingest, to consume the product. Wow. And thus reduction also the, the fluidity of the blood, mm -hmm. the return to the balance of proper fat and fluidity, and energy of the red blood cell, transportation of oxygen. All of that leads to detachment or non, non buildup of plaque. And I want to stress the point here that we tend to view cardiovascular disease as the heart, and we tend to view plaque around the big arteries, and that's the most popular way, you know, the heart attack. That's right. what we, we understand the most. But we have to understand that the capillaries, the small arteries of the brain also build up, and that's what leads to more and more early Alzheimer's. Oh, oh.